Hey, kia ora, Helen Brahms here, coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're having a super fantastic sparkling start to Tune Up Tuesday. Yes, it's that day of the week that we look at our business, our lives, just things around us that might need a little tweak or change to make our lives a little more smoother or our business run a little bit, a little better. Better? Yeah, smoother. I like the smoother thing too. Um, so what tune-ups are you making in your business today? So what systems and processes are you going to be looking at and making those slight tweaks and changes that help them run a little more smoothly with less errors? Um, it's always good to evaluate those, look them over. It's like, you know, you have to tune up your vehicles every however often you have to do it. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, I can't remember the actual things like every six months or something. Um, but, you know, what do you have to do to tune up your vehicle so it keeps running on peak performance? You have to do the same with your business. You have to do the same with your mindset. You've got to make those tweaks and changes and constantly, um, you know, like changing out the oil. It's, you know, get rid of the old thoughts, bring in the new thoughts. Um, so whatever, you know, when you tune up your car, you've got to remember that your that your mind needs to be tuned up as well to keep it running efficiently, to keep it running at its best, to be its most creative. What are you doing to take care of it? And then with your business is what tweaks and changes can you make in your business to make the systems run a little smoother so that the customer ends up with a better experience at the end. So think about things like that. What do you need to, where do you need to make some tweaks and changes so that your customers get a better experience? And also too, so that you and your team have almost have an almost flawless system because no system is perfect they always need tweaks and changes little tune-ups here and there some needs massive overhauls some just need just slight adjustments but anything then that can make your work a little easier and make the um and make the um system run a little smoother and then and when you do all that your client gets a better experience out of things and now on to, tell, to the tell your story question of the day. We are suspending that one for today because we're going to put it in there a question and probably do this like once or I'm, I just suddenly thought of it this morning. I haven't ironed out the details yet. It's going to be a tune up of the process because I haven't ironed out the details yet. But like at least at least once a week, maybe a little bit more often, we're going to have an ask the genealogist question of the day. So what family, so, but you need to give us the question so that we can give you the answers. Um, so if you want to private message me today with your question, then we will answer it on the Facebook Live this evening. So um, what family tree research question do you have? When you're researching your family tree and you want to know about a term, you want to know where do I go next, um, you want to know which is the best software program to use, things like that, send us that question, private message me the question, and we will answer it in the evening Facebook Live. So that's basically it for me. To, I mean, this is a short, sweet call. <laughs> so yeah, so um, we're going to do this probably, I don't know, like I said, I haven't ironed out the process. So probably two or three, maybe two or three times a week. We're going to have, in the morning, we'll have an Ask the Genealogist question. And you know, we'll give you a, what family tree research question do you have? And like I said, it could be a phrase, it could be um, a terminology thing, it could be where do I go next? How do I know if this is the right person I'm looking for? Um, you know, just all sorts of, of questions that you that can come up during family tree research. Um, and, you know, we've, we've looked at birth certificates and death certificates and we still can't find this person. So, and we know this person existed because we have photographs of them. So how do we find out records? You know, things like that. So just questions that you have about researching your family tree um, that may have you a little stumped or something, just private message us the questions and we will answer it this evening on our Facebook Live. So that's it from me for today, for this morning. Go have a super fantastic sparkling tune up Tuesday and we will catch you guys later on this evening around 6 p.m. Pacific. Until then, hey, konara.